Hello friends, welcome to Data Making. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to import Apache Spark uh, version 3.6 and uh, Hadoop uh, version 3.x VM, which is uh, VM which is provided by Data Making. So you should have a, a prerequisite for this uh, VM is you should have a Oracle VM virtual box. Okay. So because I built this uh, virtual machine using Oracle virtual box uh, uh, 6.1 version. Okay, so basically, uh, once you get a, the image file, which is a data making uh, VM2.ovl file, you should be able to uh, import it into your uh, Oracle Virtual Box Manager. Okay, so will I will uh, tell you the steps how to import it. Uh, before that, I have published a course on Udemy, which is uh, building a real time data pipeline using uh, Apache Spark and Apache Kafka and Hadoop. Okay, which is also using a visualization. Uh, uh, library called uh, uh, Flex Monster and uh, Django. We built this uh, uh, project on the uh, single node Spark cluster on uh, Docker environment. Okay, we built the uh, Spark cluster on a uh, Docker engine. Okay, I hope this video is helpful. Uh, this course will be helpful for your big data and uh, PySpark career. Uh, uh, make a uh, uh, use of it. Thank you. Uh, so, let's get started. So, basically, you should have this uh, file. Okay. What is the file name is data making vm2.ovf file. Uh, if you want this file, uh, the vm file, you just uh, uh, make a request to uh, uh, the link which I am going to give it in the um, description section, which is a contact page of uh, data science wiki, which is our blog website. Okay, you can send us a request, I will send you the, the image file. So once you have this file, this file is around 14.4 uh, uh, GB of uh, size. Okay, once you have this file, you open a uh, virtual box uh, VM uh, manager. Okay, Oracle virtual box uh, VM manager. So, uh, so basically, I have only this uh, default and uh, uh, other VM. So, I won't import our uh, data making uh, Spark 3 and Hadoop 3 VM. Okay. So, what you need to do is just click on this uh, file, import appliance. Okay, this option. You choose this option, import uh, uh, appliance. Okay, then. Uh, what you need to do is uh, you will find this window will be open. So some resolution is uh, uh, problem in my system. So it is not actually showing me the full window. I try to move here and there but it is not able to. So basically you have to browse that uh, OVA file. Okay? So click here uh, uh, this browse button. Okay, So you should be able to browse it. Uh, uh, choose the uh, OVA file wherever you uh, look, wherever you have it. Okay, So then choose that file. So then uh, uh, you should be able to see the uh, uh, the option called the next button. Click on this next button. So once you see the, you click the next button, you see the, the default uh, um, settings of the VM. Okay, so basically it has uh, one CPU core assigned for this VM, and uh, I actually uh, use the uh, RAM sizes uh, 3072, which is a 3 GB of RAM allocated to VM. If you want to increase based on a system configuration, you can increase or decrease it. But I tried it uh, uh, 3 GB, uh, it is working fine. Uh, if you are decreasing, I don't know how it will work. But uh, make sure uh, you have it either 3 GB uh, or more than that. Um, if you have uh, uh, more RAM, it will be faster, the VM will be working faster. Okay, then uh, uh, just to click on that. Next, you will see that uh, button called import. Okay, so in the previous step, you have to click next. In this step, you need to click uh, import. Okay, sorry for my, uh, I'm able to show. I am not able to show you the entire screen because of the resolution problem. So click on this import, it will start importing uh, your uh, VM uh, image into your virtual uh, on your virtual box manager. So this uh, this uh, step is going to take another uh, 5 to 10 minutes. So you just have to wait for that. Once it is imported, you will see this uh, uh, VM is imported here. Okay? Then you click on this and uh, uh, click on the start button uh, to start the VM. Why it will, so it will uh, uh, start launching all the uh, basically it will just start running the some of the script in the back end uh, to launch the VM. Okay, so the VM will be uh, launching and showing you this uh, screen where you see this uh, there are two users one is data making, another is a Kafka user. Basically, ignore the Kafka user, you need to choose uh, data making. The password is uh, data making again D A T A M A K I N G. Data making is a password, user also same. So once you do enter, you will see this screen. So Ubuntu desktop screen. So it is like our uh, Windows machine with uh, the Linux uh, features. Okay. So VM is now up and ready. 
we can do all our uh, 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 like uh, uh, projects or uh, whatever uh, you want to explore on Apache Spark, Hadoop, or Kafka, and our NoSQL database like MongoDB, Cassandra, HBase. There are uh, n n number of uh, components I uh, installed in it. So we'll go one by one uh, in the coming up uh, videos. Thank you so much, friends. See you.